everyone, my name is Sarah Dietschy, Rhymes with Peachy, and today we are unboxing a crazy custom mechanical keyboard, and I literally had to have it built for me because I couldn't build one myself. Now, if you're new to this channel, you might have not witnessed this travesty of a project. I got so into mechanical keyboard culture videos, I was watching Teha Types, and here's the thing. I went into building a mechanical keyboard without researching it. Not only that, I was like, oh my gosh, I love the little cute tiny keyboards. And I decided to build, well, the hardest mechanical keyboard ever. It's the 60%. In that video, I got together Teha Types and Tiny Makes Things to basically inform everyone on how to make a mechanical keyboard. And I'm so grateful for their wisdom. I will link that part one video in the description below if you wanna start there. So I got talking to Tiny. Also follow her on Twitter, Twitch, TikTok. She is so incredible. She basically makes custom keycaps and she's like truly an artist, but it's really cool to see kind of the intersection of like social media, artistry, and this niche that is blowing up in mechanical keyboards. And she was like, hey, what if I made you a custom peachy? Sarah Dietschy Rhymes Peachy mechanical keyboard. And I didn't give her that much instruction because I was like, listen, you're the pro, you go for it. I've never seen this. I didn't, again, I didn't give her any guidance, so I don't even know what kind of switches are on here. She's a pro, she does commissions. This tape is just amazing. Have a terrific day. You're just my type. Okay, so I think it's time to unbox. And don't make fun of me. This is what I'm dealing with because I lost my knife in the move. So close your eyes. This is not a professional unboxing video. <laughs> They usually say cut away from you, but I can't do that right now. You're learning that I'm not ambidextrous. Okay. 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 Why am I nervous? I am legitimately, honey, I trust you. You're, you're gonna knock this out of the park. Oh my gosh, what if it was just like the parts? And she was like, just kidding. <laughs> Build it yourself. Also, uh, my mom is behind the camera, so feel free to be my audience. Jeannie is my new filming assistant, so. Actually, wait, I wanna show this. Behind the scenes, we got the lights, got lights, and then we got Janie. <laughs> She's monitoring, oh my gosh, she looks like a professional assistant director. Okay, first of all, um, amazing. She included like a keyboard mat, a peachy keyboard mat. Oh my gosh. Honey peach, okay, so some, whoever honey peach is, amazing addition. Oh my gosh, this is so, this is so heavy. This has really been, when did I post that video? Maybe almost a year ago. This has almost been a year in the making. Oh, this is so professional. Look at this. You know what? We're gonna do the accessories first. Just gotta build up to the main event. Ooh, I love this. What? I have never seen a cable like this before. I thought we were just gonna have like a classic USB on both sides. Okay, we got extra keys. Okay, got some accessories. Okay, another cable. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is the coolest numpad that has ever existed. Okay, guys, so do you see these peach keycaps? She makes these. So she made these by hand. See, I basically initially commissioned her for one of these on my other keyboard that I failed. So now that I know that this will be functional and I'll have the peaches hitting the booty. Wow, I love that. Okay, all right, main event. Oh my God, it's so heavy. This is the heaviest keyboard I think I have ever held. Oh my gosh, <laughs> seriously. It was so heavy. Are there precious metals underneath? I I think it's filled with gold. See, it's filled with gold. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, and I'm guessing I should put my original peach here from my OG keyboard that I'll, I'll get to, to really have the final touch on this. Ooh, this is gonna look. See, you guys, did you hear that? Hi, Sarah, sorry for the almost one year wait. Hope everything is peachy. Thanks for letting me build this for you. Heart tiny. Yes! Oh my gosh, these are the cutest stickers ever. Kinky's out. I appreciate that. This, okay, so it's like, it's like a cloth. They're like cloth cables. This is so cool. I wish you could feel how heavy this is. Maybe we can cut to Tiny explaining a little bit about the build of this because it is very impressive. It is so cool how it's clear. So you can see the bottom, you can see the soldering of the keys. Wow, that's actually really cool how it's clear. I have all the links below of everything that I use in this build. The board itself is $300. The Cerakote job Oh man, I can't wait to just crunch some numbers. 
Okay, so this makes me a little nervous because the USB-C goes here. I wonder how I plug this into my computer. Okay, so we got this cable and then we got this. So this cable doesn't fit. Oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. This is why they pay me the big bucks. Dun, da, da, da. How cool is that? Oh man. So you plug this into the computer. So I'll need a USB-C for this. All right, first test type. Wait, what switches are these? Okay, I will have to say, if you guys can notice, cause I still gotta get the peach on here, the actual switch color is peach. This is like one of the most satisfying typing experiences I've ever had. I've never like felt a mechanical keyboard experience that's still like dampened, but you still get the satisfaction of a mechanical keyboard. Like it's, it's quiet, it sounds amazing. Here we go guys. Sounds amazing, feels amazing. So this is a Logitech uh, mechanical keyboard I've been using for a while. Um, it's the Logitech G NK915 or something. Yes, Logitech G915 TKL. Um, I've really been enjoying this. I'll let you guys hear this for a control. You know, they're just so different. So that's what I've been using for a while. And oh, this is just like a very welcomed and amazing feel. You know what's so funny? I got so frustrated with that keyboard, that small keyboard. I was like, do I even bring this from New York to Texas with the move? And I'm pretty sure I have it somewhere because it used to be uh, behind me when I filmed. And every time I looked at it, it reminded me of my failure. So I've abandoned it to a box somewhere. So we're gonna find this. And also Ali Abdal just posted a video of him bragging about his his typing speed, but he also talked about a lot of cool mechanical keyboards, but I really wanna test it out with this too. So I'm gonna get this hooked up. I'm gonna find the peach cap and Tiny, you did it. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, everyone, I finally found the lost keyboard. Just look, it's, it's really an abomination. But yeah, I did not get the right key set for it. Um, and so we're officially going to take off this peach move it to the keyboard that well works. Everyone say your goodbyes. I'll keep the case, cause the kit, it's nice. We'll just, we'll do new switches, we'll do new keycaps. Cause I don't like the switches either. I mean, it's fine, they're fine. Oh, and just like that, the best escape key ever. Okay, so we're gonna plug this in, and I'm just curious, ever since I watched that Ali Abdal video, I wanna know what my typing speed is, cause it's probably really bad, but I'm gonna try, okay? I'm gonna try. Um, if you don't know Ali's channel, you should go follow him. His stuff is amazing. We've done an interview before that I think is on his channel, maybe. I'm gonna put some mechanical keyboard YouTubers also in the description below. Um, not just Tiny or Teha Types, but there's also this dude uh, named Glarses. Like, I think it's glasses, but saying it funny, like glasses. Um, I could be totally wrong. I could just be uh, mispronouncing his name. In that case, I'm sorry. Um, but his videos are hilarious. I mean, they're just like really funny. And I think you guys should watch them. <gasps> oh, wait. Guys, do you see this? I didn't even see that it was color. What? Can you imagine? if I made this video and just never plugged in the keyboard and I was like, yeah, it's cool, it's cool. And then it just, it rotates and lights up on the, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, yeah. Tiny, good job. <laughs> And the fact that I have a white desk, it just reflects the color really nicely. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so for context, Ollie got a top score of 157 words per minute, which is insane. I think the fastest I've ever gone is 90, and that's when I was in high school and I was literally in like keyboarding class, which was probably the only practical um, class I ever had in school. You know what, I take that back. My A for V class really taught me, um, you know, the fundamentals of video editing, which is what I'm doing now. So I would argue that high school was actually more useful than what I did in college. Yeah. Are you guys ready? Why am I nervous? Why am I nervous for this? Okay, here we go.
Oh no, oh no. <gasps> oh my god, I feel like I'm like running. Alright, I'm sweating, I'm sweating, I'm sweating, I'm sweating, I'm sweating. Did I not say in the beginning of this video that literally my top speed from high school was 92 words per minute? Did I say 92 or did I just say 90? Because how in the world did I get like, that just proves that, okay, at least I haven't gotten worse, but I haven't gotten better. Um, it says that's in the top 9% though. Digital natives, go us. Accuracy 92%. You guys heard how fast I was typing and Ollie did 65 more words per minute. Insane, insane. Okay, wow. I guess we saved really the best for last because this, the, the RGB on the bottom just elevates things. Holy smokes. I am so excited on this. This is gonna be such a fun addition to my desk. I feel like I need to make an updated desk tour because I kind of did that like casual vlog where I was talking about uh, setting up my live stream, but now things are dialed. Well, hey, let me know if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button down below for new videos every single week. And again, check out those super talented YouTubers down in the description below. Um, if you're curious about this mechanical keyboard movement, because guys, there's no stop in it. Also, it's a very expensive hobby, so beware. Caution, that's all I will say. Okay, um, until next time, stay peachy. Okay, bye.